No, it doesn't make me angry. It disappoints me. The direction that some of the kind of major venues for exhibiting public work take when they just blatantly go down a commercial line. I think it's aletheia, I think, is, is the Greek word for it, for um, a presence that's revealed through the act of making. There's many, 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 many selves all existing at the same time. All of my works do really start, not so much with an intuition, but kind of like a hunch. But there's not so much intuition in the sense that you know something before it happens, just that you know something will happen. Where am I off to today? Off to the studio. funny, um, the way you've got me mic'd up today is, uh, wait till you see the sculpture I'm working on, you'll understand what I mean. You think about how you've got me mic'd up today, the space in my head that I can hear my own voice. of Australia been an almost catastrophic interruption to one of the longest surviving and most sophisticated cultures on the face of the earth. Yeah. Yeah, I feel related. I feel like that I take an awful lot from the world. that making art helps me to give something back. It's also a good way to learn things. You're successful as an artist if you manage to maintain a practice for your entire life. If you don't lose interest or you don't get swayed, it's more about being able to exist I'm calling this work ambition and reflection <laughs> because it's you know it's just such a nonchalant sort of activity a fuck you to the whole idea that we should have ambitions in this world but at the same time I'd be lying if I said I didn't want to be successful as an artist at some stage. art as a way to open yourself up to experience, you know, inevitably something's going to happen. I don't like trying to predict what that something might be, because you're invariably wrong when you attempt such things. And what actually happens is always more interesting than what you thought would happen in the first place, I think. Definitely the best spot ever. 